Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this will be my first video so, of reviewing an audio file and stuff. So hope you enjoy. So today I will be reviewing the Soji and Neo BG5BA. Here's it. Uh, so the Soji and Neo BG5BA is an earphone with 5 balance armature, like the name from 5BA, and a semi custom housing with an MMCX socket. The Soji BG5BA is now priced around $279. So as you can see, the Soji 5BGBA is come with a small carton box. Inside, there's a carrying case for the earphone and some ear tips for your own choosing. It is very simple and Shoji just go straight with their products. Now, for the design and build, personally, I got a love and hate with this earphone. The Soji BG5BA comes with a gold and black housing and a copper colored cable. The Soji BG5BA has a small nozzle, so if you want to get one of these, you should check before buying third-party earphone tips. Some earphone tips, for example, the spin fit, fit loosely, and sometimes it comes off pretty easily. The Soji BG5BA has a good build quality. Cable doesn't feel flimsy. It's covered with a nice rubber tube so it won't get tangled up easily. And the housing is made with a good quality plastic. Now, let's go with the sound quality. So for this testing, I'm using a Fio M7 for digital audio player and an Black Label IDSD Nano Type from iFi for the digital to analog converter. For me, this is one of the greatest earphones for its price range. It, the Soji BG5BA has a tight bass, but not so powerful. It delivers the sub bass and the lower bass nicely. For me, this is a perfect spot. But I would say if you're listening to some rock songs or you are a bass lover, this will not be for you. For the mids, I would say it is relaxing to hear, and it feels natural to hear the vocal and instruments. It has a nice clarity and separation. The mids are not that intimate, but it isn't distant either. So it remains not sound very in your face, but it's not far either. The Soji BG5BA has a soft, detailed treble. It's not sharp like some other earphone that might hurt your ear after some time of your usage. It has a good clarity and separation, same with the mids. But I would say it's not that perfect. It's a tiny little bit too soft for me and it could be better. But I would say it's nice for its price range. After 2 hours session, overall, this earphone is one of the best for its price. It's a little on the bright but it doesn't lose at the best side. It has a tight bass but not so powerful, so it's not good for people that love bass. It got nice clarity and separation at the treble without sounding sharp to the ear, so it's nice for listening in a long session. So it's good for people who like to listen to some vocal songs or instrumental, but for bass lover, I think it's not a bad choice, but there's other earphone that has more powerful bass. The Soji BG 5 ba priced at $279 is one of my favorites. It doesn't come with a nice box or accessories, but it nicely delivered a good sound. And that's the importance of audio stuff. Well, that's it for me. If you have a question or so, leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.